What's up everybody, Joel Gadet here, Santa Monica Pier, Los Angeles, California. Technically Santa Monica, California. But we're here in LA for the men's volleyball final four this week and we figured while we were in town, we would test some knowledge from some folks here in LA, not just about men's volleyball, but also to find out how much they know about Ball State University. Let's go. Where's home for you? Uh, the United Kingdom. Okay, so have you heard of Ball State University? I have not, no. Do you know where Ball State University is? Man, I have no clue. I'm from. I'm actually from North Carolina. We're here for the weekend for the wet for a wedding. Do you know where Ball State is? It's in Baltimore. Um, I I could make a random guess and say um, Wyoming. It's in Indiana. Is it in Indiana? Okay, I have family there. Which? Oh, where, whereabouts? In Fisher. That's where I live. Indiana? Yeah, Indiana. That's Look actually, that. that only took three shots. There were 50 states. That's not that bad. Yeah, Muncie, Indiana. You've been to Ball State, though, so you're cheating. I have been to Ball State, yes. Yeah. Your uncle played basketball at Ball State, is that right? That's at least what I remember. I don't know if that's <laughs> true or not. The Ball State University is named for the Ball Brothers. Oh, God. There are five of them. Can you name one? Is one of them named Michael? No, but honestly, I think mathematically that's a good guess. Yeah, it probably is. Uh, is there a George? There is a George, actually. Okay. The only Ball Brothers I know are from Chino Hills. Uh, Lamelo, uh, Lonzo, and Leangelo. Who is the most famous alum of Ball State? Famous late night talk show host is your clue. This is, is it like one of the big two or three networks. Oh yeah, it rhymes with uh, with Fetterman. Oh, Jim, the Letterman guy. The oh. Letterman guy, yeah. Your parents are like, I feel like they don't have it. They're, they're, they're lost, um, uh, David Letterman. Oh, Letterman, I love Letterman, man. There was a second famous television personality, though, from Muncie. Didn't go to Ball State, but did record his show in Muncie. This guy's an artist. He never made mistakes. He just made happy accidents, follically inclined. Oh, wow. Bob, Bob Ross. Ross. Yeah. Bob Ross, yeah. Bob Ross. Oh! Happy trees. Happy trees. Well, his name's not Happy Trees. <laughs> Bob Ross is flipping awesome, man. He's just like, we're just gonna make a decision right here. Happy, happy Trees. How many people are on a volleyball team on the court while play is going on? On one team or both teams? One team, fair question. Six. It is six. Can you name a position? Setter, spiker, libero. Setter was right, libero. Uh, that, wait, Travis, get over here. <laughs> Travis. I used to be a libero. You used to be a libero? I used to be a libero. What does the libero do? It's a great question, honestly. I haven't done it in a while. Is there a server? The, no, you have not to an actual position. He's not. We're going to count that. Striker. Striker. That, that's soccer. Um, I, don't know. I would say, uh, uh, some, is there a setter? You're supposed to set. No, there's a setter. Yeah, no, that's right. Our man Sam got two questions right. So, uh, can we give you a t shirt to, to oh, support Ball cool. State? Yes, yeah, thank you. Are you a medium? I am a medium. Yeah, that's perfect. Good, good that's good. all we have. Yay. So, that's great. Yeah. Zoltar, my only wish is that Ball State men's volleyball wins the national championship. Can we do that?